here's what we know about Ebola, that it is not like the flu, it is not airborne. The only way that a person can contract Ebola is by coming into direct contact with the bodily fluids of somebody who is showing symptoms. Uh, in other words, if they don't have symptoms, they're not contagious. Uh, what we are able to do, however, is to do what's called contact tracing so that uh, anybody who may have had contact with someone, even if it was incidental contact, even if they weren't showing symptoms, being able to identify who those individuals are uh, and make sure that they are then being monitored uh, in a way that allows us to uh, make certain that the disease does not spread further. Uh, and that's currently taking place in a very aggressive process uh, conducted by the CDC, uh, uh, HHS, and the rest of our teams. This is not a situation in which, uh, like a flu, uh, the risks of a rapid spread of the disease uh, are imminent. If we do these protocols properly, if we follow the steps, if we get the information out, then the likelihood of widespread uh, Ebola outbreaks in this country are very, very low.